you can't imagine us having signs on the door that said no cripples, no brain injured, no stroke, no elderly, but we really do. The moment that someone can't get into a space, they don't know what that world is, so they're not going to be a creator, they're not going to be a storyteller, they're not going to be an artist. My name is Jan Derbyshire and I work as a playwright and a theatre maker and a participatory experience design which is just new language for interactive theatre. I'm Canadian and I work in the arts so yeah. it's not unheard of to wear many hats. The question is always like who, who designed the world according to what specifications and we can see that in the built environment that it was built by able-bodied people and, and you can see that Exclusion wasn't uh, necessarily their goal, but we can see how it really keeps people out of spaces that, you know, everybody has a right to. And so theater is, is one of those spaces, both, both in terms of physical space and also uh, cultural practice. If we're starting from places, this is the way we've always done things, that's the big question for theater right now. And, and you can see it breaking open all over the place with indigenous arts and disability arts. We have to just understand that this, at its fundamental level, is a human rights issue. You know, we work with limits all the time, parameters all the time, so it's just interesting if we just took those on and, and instead of slapping them on after, made them part of the, the artistic whole.